You're listening to the Chapter a Day Audio Bible. I'm John Stonge, and today we're in Haggai Chapter 2. And we'll be reading from the New English Translation. On the 21st day of the seventh month, the Lord spoke again through the prophet Haggai. Ask the following questions to Zerubbabel, son of Shealtiel, governor of Judah, the high priest Joshua, son of Jehozadak, and the remnant of the people. Who among you survivors saw the former splendor of this temple? How does it look to you now? Isn't it nothing by comparison? Even so, take heart, Zerubbabel, says the Lord. Take heart, Joshua, son of Jehozadak, the high priest, and all you citizens of the land, says the Lord, and begin to work, for I am with you, says the Lord, who rules over all. Do not fear, because I made a promise to your ancestors when they left Egypt, and my spirit even now testifies to you. Moreover, the Lord who rules over all says, In just a little while I will once again shake the sky and the earth, the sea and the dry ground. I will also shake up all the nations, and they will offer their treasures. Then I will fill this temple with glory, says the Lord, who rules over all. The silver and gold will be mine, says the Lord, who rules over all. The future splendor of this temple will be greater than that of former times, the Lord who rules over all declares, and in this place I will give peace. On the twenty-fourth day of the ninth month of Darius's second year, the Lord spoke again to the prophet Haggai. The Lord who rules over all says, Ask the priests about the law. If someone carries holy meat in a fold of his garment, and that fold touches bread, a boiled dish, wine, olive oil, or any other food, will that item become holy? The priests answered, It will not. Then Haggai asked, If a person who is ritually unclean because of touching a dead body comes in contact with one of these items, will it become unclean? The priests answered, It will be unclean. Then Haggai responded, The people of this nation are unclean in my sight, says the Lord, and so is all their effort. Everything they offer is also unclean. Now therefore, reflect carefully on the recent past before one stone was laid on another in the Lord's temple. From that time when one came expecting a heap of twenty measures, there were only ten. When one came to the wine vat to draw out fifty measures from it, there were only twenty. I struck all the products of your labor with blight, disease, and hail, and yet you brought nothing to me, says the Lord. Think carefully about the past from today, the twenty-fourth day of the ninth month, to the day work on the temple of the Lord was resumed. Think about it. The seed is still in the storehouse, isn't it? And the vine, fig tree, pomegranate, and olive tree have not produced. Nevertheless, from today on, I will bless you. Then the Lord spoke again to Haggai on the twenty-fourth day of the month. Tell Zerubbabel, governor of Judah, I am ready to shake the sky and the earth. I will overthrow royal thrones and shatter the might of earthly kingdoms. I will overthrow chariots and those who ride them, and horses and their riders will fall as people kill one another. On that day, says the Lord who rules over all, I will take you, Zerubbabel, son of Shealtiel, my servant, says the Lord, and I will make you like a signet ring, for I have chosen you, says the Lord who rules over all. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for your word, and we thank you for the privilege of being able to look at it today, and to be able to look at this portion of scripture that describes the time when the temple was being built after the completion of Judah's exile into Babylon. Lord, we realize that there was much that the people needed to learn, and you were instructing them through your prophets. You were helping them to understand their need to honor you. 
and you were blessing them in ways that they didn't deserve. And even when we see how you interacted with Zerubbabel, we see that you had chosen him and that you were going to use him and bless him in unique ways. Likewise, Lord, your word tells us that in your son, Jesus Christ, we have been chosen, that you bless us in ways that we don't deserve as we trust in Jesus, that you're with us, that you have our future planned, and that we can take confidence in you and in your sovereign nature. So thank you, Lord, for the examples of that that we see in this passage from the book of Haggai. And we pray, Lord, that throughout the course of our lives that we would learn to honor you and that we would put you first in all matters and in all areas. We thank you, Lord, for the privilege to be able to look at your word together today. And we commit ourselves to you today and pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you again for listening to this episode of the Chapter a Day Audio Bible. My newest book, The Desired Jesus One-Year Devotional, was just released and is available for purchase on Amazon in both Kindle and paperback editions. A link can be found in this episode's description, and I hope it will be a blessing to you throughout this coming year as you grow in your walk with Jesus Christ. Thanks again for listening, and I hope you have a wonderful day.